Welcome to the next episode of the Dark Web Deacon. Toda Noda, whose name is now shortened to Tuda, and Proton Mail are two of the most popular and secure email industry leaders. Both have an excellent reputation built on guarding emails from spying eyes. But which one is better? Let's take a look and delve into Tuda versus Proton Mail to see which one is better in general, or maybe just better for you. Both services offer excellent security and privacy. It's their entire selling point. Let's first talk about encryption. Tuda offers end-to-end -end symmetrical encryption using RSA 2048 bit for user-to-user -user emails. If you send an email outside of the Tuda system, it uses AES 128 bit encryption. ProtonMail uses also RSA 2048 for user-to-user -user emails but it uses AES-256 for user to non-user Proton email encryption. Like Tuda, ProtonMail's encryption also prevents even ProtonMail from actually decrypting and reading your messages. Next up, anonymity. Both Tuda and ProtonMail strip out IP address information from its messages, making it impossible for anyone to trace the message back to the user, at least using the IP. However, case in point, there was a situation when ProtonMail did log an IP address of one of their users after the Swiss government requested they do so. So in order to safeguard yourself from some of these type of situations, I definitely would suggest combining whatever email service you choose with a reliable VPN provider. Next, connections to global intelligence communities. Tuda is a German company. Germany is one of the 14 Eyes Alliance intelligence sharing countries. But emails that do pass through Tuda are protected technically by the German Federal Data Protection Act, which prohibits the use or collection of personal data without express permission or a law that specifically allows it. That being said, they are Germany is heavily ingrained with basically major spy agencies around the world. ProtonMail, however, is headquartered in Switzerland. Famously neutral and independent, Switzerland has some of the best privacy laws in the world. And ProtonMail's parent company is very privacy focused. Now let's talk about some core features of both email platforms. ProtonMail does have a very restrictive spam filter, which is great. Both platforms also encrypt your address book and your calendar. They both have an autoresponder, custom domains as part of their paid plans, and a secure calendar for the free plan for Tutanota and also the free plan for ProtonMail. Some of the unique features that I think separate the two is the most interesting part of Tutanota in terms of a unique feature is their secure connect feature. It allows you to implement Tuda code into your website to create a contact form with the same security and privacy as Tuda itself. This is a bit of a niche feature uh, and an expensive add-on not included with any plan. However, if you are a small business or someone who is very uh, diligent about security on your websites, this may be an interesting offer for individuals to be able to contact you and send you information through a secure site without necessarily being registered as a Tuda client. On the other hand, ProtonMail has a very clear distinction from its competitor in its Proton VPN subscription. So as I mentioned earlier, adding VPN on top of whatever email platform you choose is definitely the way to go. And ProtonMail allows you to bundle both VPN and their email platform capabilities together. Next, let's talk about pricing and storage. Tuda is the cheaper option overall. While you do need to pay extra for certain features, the overall price is less than ProtonMail. Um, they both, again, have free offerings if you want to try it out. Uh, Tuda's Premium Plus is ab about uh, 12 euros a year. Uh, ProtonMail is roughly $47 a year. Um, in terms of storage, the, their free offerings are both one gigabyte. Uh, for paid uh, storage, Tuda is up to 10 gigs with attachments, email attachments of 25. ProtonMail, you can go up to 500 gigs with their paid storage. And again, uh, attachments are also at uh, 25 megs. And finally, let's talk about ease of use, user friendliness, and overall customer support. 
Both Tuda and Proton Mail are reasonably easy to use. Uh, the winner, however, is Proton Mail. Um, overall, I, I am impressed with its ease of setup, useful settings, and third-party integrations. User friendliness, both Tuda and Proton Mail are really easy to use. They both resemble, you know, mainstream email inboxes, making it intuitive and easy to navigate. Neither will blow you away with their UX, but both are solid. And in terms of customer support, both provide reliable customer support options. They have vast knowledge bases, subreddits, and even email support. So what's the final verdict? Well, both Tuda and Proton Mail are excellent mail applications. But Proton Mail stood out to me slightly more for the mere fact it's located in Switzerland and is less likely and willing to coordinate with unreasonable requests from global intelligence communities. So Proton Mail is what I use uh, every day uh, for my secure email connections. Check out the Dark Web Deacon merch store. We have high quality t-shirts, accessories, and signature hoodies, of course, and become a true dark web enthusiast and VIP.